Hey everyone, before we get started learning how to write the Harvard essays, we wanted to let you know that with your free College Vine account, you can get fast feedback on your college essay with our peer essay review. You'll receive detailed inline edits and actionable steps to improve your essay. If you want to become a better writer, you can also review another student's essay. Visit the link in the description below to sign up and review or submit an essay today. Let's get on with it. Uh, we're talking about prompt two. It's 50 to 150 words. It is required. Please briefly elaborate on one of your extracurricular activities or work experiences. Uh, shout outs in the chat. If anyone did Model UN, NHS, uh, you volunteered at Ronald McDonald House, you did speech and debate, you played tennis, you played an orchestra like I did. That's a picture of me playing a concerto uh, with my high school orchestra a long time ago, before you were all born, of course. Uh, that's how old I am. Uh, if you played uh, football, soccer, uh, or the other football, baseball, did Science Olympiad, shout yourself out in the chat, and uh, I'll, I'll shout you out as well. Um, you know, represent all the people who did these clubs. So what's the purpose of prompt two? Well, gives you extra room to elaborate one of your extra, extra one of your activities, uh, right? More than in that previous uh, prompt, also more than you're gonna be able to talk about uh, your activities in the resume portion. Of course, your response is gonna be brief, but it should still contain significant substance. It should say something profound about who you are as a person, explain why you're interested in this activity, why it's meaningful to you. Of course, you wanna pick an activity that is in fact meaningful to you, but avoid discussing something you discuss in detail elsewhere, right? I mean, uh, if you talked about an activity in your Common App, don't also talk about it here. Avoid gimmicks and unnecessary fluff. There just isn't space for that. But if you can weave in a personal anecdote, that is still good. Should I answer prompt two? Well, yes, it is required. If you do not answer prompt two, I assume Common App will not allow you to submit your application. Uh, it's cool that I can see how many schools you're all applying to. I see some five through eight, nine through 12, more than 12. I would recommend applying to eight to 12 schools. Um, more than 12 can get a little dicey. Of course, sometimes you get free schools, you know, uh, free school meaning you don't have to like write additional essays and stuff. You know, you apply to one UC, you can just check off boxes, pay some more money, apply to the rest of them. I count that as one school. Um, but uh, you don't want to be applying to 20 separate schools, writing essays for 20 separate schools. It, it's going to it's gonna crush you. You're not going to have time to do well in your classes. You're not necessarily going to um, be able to turn out the most polished essays for each of those programs. Um, at the same time, five to eight, unless you know for sure that you're getting into one or two of them and you'd be happy going there, or if you're an athlete and you're, uh, you're being recruited, so you don't really have to apply to that many places. Uh, other than that, you probably want to apply to at least eight schools. You don't want to get in trouble, get into one of those situations where you, in fact, don't get in anywhere. Um, all right. Let's look at some sample responses. Here's one that I bring to you from the College Vine blog post on the Stanford uh, essays. Uh, of course, there's a similar Stanford essay. It is longer, 250 words. Uh, so I shrunk this one down, cut out 100 words. I can't say it's as good as it was in the longer version, but you know, you can always cut words out of these things. And I'm proud of myself for the work I did here Cutting, cutting down someone else's essay by 100 words. Here we go. As I crashed into the final chord, I broke into a satisfied grin. I had just played the Moonlight Sonata's epic third movement, a longtime dream of mine. Only four months ago, I had considered this feat impossible. The movement is long and its tempo impossibly fast. It features the most fragile and intricate melodies I had ever encountered. With the end of school, the school year last June, I was free to determine my own musical path, either finally learn the piece or let it defeat me for the third consecutive summer. During the following months, I spent countless hours practicing until the notes burned a permanent place in my memory, creating a soundtrack even for my dreams. Um, despite my success, I know I haven't mastered the piece. I am now eager to take the next step and add in layers of nuance to make my performances even more expressive. Did I write this essay? I did not. Come on, people. The Moonlight Sonata's third movement? I mean, that's easy stuff, right? That, that's basic. Uh, shout out if you're a pianist in the chat and you've played the Moonlight Sonata. People are not shouting themselves out enough. Colin said, AO tennis, let's go. Let's go tennis. Nazan says he's done it all at different points in his life. There were a lot of extracurricular activities listed there, and I would be impressed if you had done like all 10 of them or whatever it was. Um, but, uh, you know, shout outs, shout outs to you both. Um, Max, Max wants to know if I was part of SEO when I was in Albany. He says, I was the principal cellist of the rep orchestra and a percussionist in the youth percussion ensemble in eighth grade before he went to boarding school. Uh, in fact, I was an SEO. I was the principal cellist of the youth orchestra for, for 
two, three years, starting my soft, yeah, my sophomore, my junior year of high school, I was principal cello, uh, and then I did not play in SEO uh, my uh, my fourth my fourth year. Uh, but it was a good time being cello. Then I then I went to conservatory. I went to New England, New England Conservatory as a cellist for a year before I transferred to Harvard. Crazy, crazy stuff. I thought I wanted to be a cellist, and and look at me now doing live streams for College Vine. Um, no, no, I I, uh, I I if you didn't see my about me slide, I am I am in fact a professional musician, but I, I'm not professionally a cellist. I'm a I'm an orchestral conductor. Anyway, say hi to Helen for me if you're in SEO. Oh oh, I guess Helen retired. And also Max, you said you're not in SEO anymore, so I take it all back. But uh, if you knew Helen, she's a friend of mine, of course. Um, uh, and you know, Albany, Albany Orchestra scene is super local. My, my dad's the uh, my dad's the conductor of the Albany Symphony. So, so shout outs to the whole Albany uh, and Capital District uh, orchestral community. Um, what is good about this response? A lot of things are good about this response. First of all, it's well written. It's enjoyable to read. It's got a hook, draws you in. Um, it, there's a narrative. There's a story. All that's good. What else is good? Well, it shows that the applicant is dedicated and committed to their intellectual pursuits, right? This applicant tried for three summers to learn this piece that was very difficult for them. And uh, I, I should say the third moon of Moonlight's not it is tricky. So I, 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 I'm, I'm kidding if I'm saying it's really easy. Really easy would be definitely an exaggeration. Um, but uh, so it shows that, you know, this this uh, applicant had the grit, was determined enough to power through it and spend those uh, these chunks of time uh, learning uh, uh, this very difficult piece. Um, furthermore, shows that the applicant is like, you know, has has great maturity, right? The applicant finally learns the piece, is able to play it without missing notes. But still, the applicant knows that you know, they haven't mastered the piece. Uh, mastering something takes years and soul searching and, and, and different activities to inform your musicianship, etc. And the applicant knows that the journey has only just begun and, and they're looking for new experiences so, uh, to help them learn how to add in additional layers of nuance to their performances. Uh, so those are things that make this essay good. Talks about an extracurricular activity, answers the prompt, well-written, personal, uh, shows without telling, but shows uh, the admissions reader um, these positive aspects, uh, attributes of the applicant, right? The applicant doesn't just say, I'm determined and I'm mature. Rather, the applicant doesn't say either of those things at all, but reading the essay, we completely understand those things uh, about the applicant because the applicant has shown us them that through uh, their writing and their experiences.